The New York Knicks face the LA Lakers tonight at home at Madison Square Garden. And the Knicks were looking to bounce back after losing to the Brooklyn Nets. Knicks would take out a quick lead, but after that, they would start bricking it up. They were just like, they were just like Masons. And then as the Lakers were, they didn't, you know, the Lakers didn't have any prolific offense. They just got their, they just got their shots. Knicks were just missing shots. But then start the third quarter, Knicks would battle. The lead would go back and forth between them and the Lakers. And thanks to Jalen Brunson, man, because Jalen Brunson was the guy that was able to keep this team afloat. Without him, I don't know where they would be. Knicks would enter the fourth quarter, and the Knicks didn't. The Knicks weren't able to take that lead. Lakers just got right back into it. Thanks to LeBron James, Anthony Davis, you know, we had and just lucky shots from the three point from the from the corner three from Brown. And then you also had some help from the Zebras tonight as well. But once again, it comes down to Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson was that dude. But you thought that with that last play, it was going to go to him. Instead, Tom Thibodeau drew up a play to Julius Randle. Don't know why you decided to go to Julius Randle in that play after Brunson was the guy who got you to that point in the game. Randle would get the ball, try to drive baseline, stop instead of attacking the rim and going for a layup. He did a turnaround fadeaway jumper that would miss. And then we went into overtime, and we know how it all ended. Knicks, weren't, Knicks didn't have a chance in overtime. In the end, Knicks would lose in overtime 129-123. to 123. Don't let the big names fool you guys. Don't let the names Anthony Davis. Don't let the names Russell Westbrook. Don't let the names, you know, the name, the great LeBron James and, and Dennis Schroeder. And all these guys for you. This Lakers team is not a great team. You know, they've, they're have they coming in losing three of their last four games. I mean, I feel disrespected by, the, by this loss. These guys rested their last game against the Brooklyn Nets just to come into the garden tonight and go home with a, a, with a win. I mean, how embarrassing is that? Like how <laughs> they're coming in already making this statement on national television that, you know what? We'd rather play at the Garden. We'd rather play you guys at home than play the Brooklyn Nets. That alone uh, should have motivated this team. And yet again, just like against the Brooklyn Nets, where Julius Randle in the postgame said, we weren't ready. Knicks didn't look ready to play tonight at the beginning. Um, they, come, they came out struggling. And they were able to pick it up in the second half. Uh, they were able to pick it up after Julius Randle three-pointer off a timeout. Uh, in the first quarter, late first quarter, Julius Randle hit a three after a timeout, and that got the team going. They made like three straight baskets after that uh, between him and Grimes and Quickly. But Quickly came in, did the fake uh, three, shot the three on the corner. And I got the team going, and there were ample opportunities throughout this game that they could have taken a lead and, and potentially even put the game away. And it's just... <sighs> Bro, we lost another game, and I had, and I had mentioned after we beat the Cavs, and then we 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 go and we beat the Celtics on this mm -hmm. same network that the game was on tonight on TNT. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I had said after that game, let's go in on a little bit of a run. Doesn't have to be a consecutive win streak, but let's go and add some consistency. Let's build off this. To validate the wins. Yep. Well, two games later, how do you really feel about that Cavs and Celtics win today? Does it really feel that valuable anymore? I mean, it is what it is at the record book. It, it is a win against the Cavs. It is a win against the Celtics. But how do you follow that up with two straight losses against the Nets without Kevin Durant? Um, and then a bad Lakers team. We finally got the ball. With three seconds left, we finally have the ball. So it's either overtime or you get a chance to win the game. And we go to Julius Randle. And on top of that, we design a play for Julius Randle to go to the corner. How many times the walk Clyde Flazier says, the sideline is not always your friend. Defenders want to defend you to the sideline. LeBron James, an ex exceptional high IQ player, as soon as he saw Julius Randle pivot to the, to the sideline, what did he do? He went to double. Put Julius Randle in a position to make a decision. That is the book on the Knicks. And I have no idea why Tibbs decided to go that route. 
when at this point, I'm either I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm I'm dying with Jalen Brunson. I might even die with Manu quickly in that in that position over Julius Randle. So disappointing loss. And you know, who knows is after a game like tonight, Leon Rose thinks he needs to get OG and Anobi because Lord Lord do we know that Tibbs needs all the help he can get. Now I didn't think RJ had it going tonight, even though he had a little bit. He was starting to attack the he was starting to attack the lane pretty well in the third quarter. But I thought defensively, he was still a little shaky, man. He was, I thought he was a little shaky tonight, and I wasn't upset with quickly closing out the game just because quickly brings that energy. It's another ball handler, just in case you want to get Brunson free out there. So I kind I was kind I was okay with that move. Granted, I understand like the optics of seeing RJ on the bench in the fourth quarter after you're getting a contract extension. But yet, if we're going to hold players accountable, you're going to ask for guys who are performing well. Quickly has been performing well for the past couple of weeks. He's been a key part, too, next to Jalen Brunson right now, and even Randall for why this team has been succeeding. So I wasn't too upset to see him and Grimes on the floor at the end of the fourth quarter. It's been a tough little week, week and a half. I mean, Cavs and Celtics, like JD said, man, what does it really mean after that, man? Like, we see the Nets take care of business against the Lakers yesterday, and just for the Knicks to just, like, blow it off like that, man. Like, come on now, man. RJ, it's like everybody's looking expendable except for, you know, my main man, Mitchie. He's not no snitchy. And JB. You know, those are the only two people that's not looking really expendable for the Knicks right now, man. Like, and I'm I'm tired of the chat saying OG's oh, not that good and he is, he ain't gonna cut it for the Knicks. Then they're not putting enough respect on OG, man. Man, RJ had some seeds in his cush, man. I don't know what's up with him lately. I mean, last game he put up some numbers, but what does the numbers really mean when you get a a result like this and the low set to the Nets, like, huh, it's just a lot, man. We miss Mitchie, man. Mitchie gives everybody confidence on the perimeter because they know they're going to funnel him to Mitchie and Mitchie's going to just grab that and do something, man. We need him back and we do need OG, man. That's that's my take. Rapid fire, man. Shout out Long Mower, flashlight action, man. Come on. Uh, I just wanted to call in, like, two things that really ticked me off about this game. Like, I know we missed Mitch, but why can't we finish our defense with rebounds? Like, it was crazy. Like, there were so many possessions where we just didn't fit. We played great defense, and we just didn't rebound the ball. And, yeah, it's just like... And then, and then we had that one where uh, iHeart tapped the ball out, like, four times, and we just rush up threes. Like, why? Why couldn't we get, like, a solid possession there? And then my second thing, I'm with the last caller, D-Block. Man, Brunson deserved that last shot in regulation. The way he was playing and the charge that he drew, he deserved that shot. That was on Tibbs. That's on Randall, man. Ah. Like, I, I, I'm with Ari. I think we should sell high on him because wow. he's, not, he's not that dude when it counts. And uh, I just want to close out with, the Magic Johnson pass from Grimes to iHeart. That was like the hypest play of the game. We'll catch you later on the next show. Hit them, lights up. Hit them likes up. Let's get to 500 before we, we, we close up. And, and definitely uh, thank you for supporting the show. And, you know, shout out to the mods. Shout out to, to everyone backstage. And shout out to the channel members for sure. Shout out to the channel members. Absolutely. Uh, shout out to Stock Chases. Thank you for everyone for supporting. Great show, man. Wait, can't wait for the next one, Alex. Thanks. Salute to the mods, Knicks Nation. We appreciate all you. We'll catch you on the next one. We out. Peace.